What's up, me bags? It's the Alpha Imitated, never duplicated Tony TTT. And today we're going to be talking about Microsoft's fiscal year 2023 quarter four earnings. As you can see from the Tech Power Up article, Xbox hardware revenue down 13%. Before we dive into it, uh, let me remind you to like the video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So let's get into things. As I said, you can see Microsoft's fiscal year 2023 quarter for earnings. You got Xbox hardware revenue down 13%, but not all bad news on the Xbox front. Uh, we'll get to that, but let's uh, talk a few other numbers here. We got the revenue was up 56.2 billion. It increased 8%, 10% in constant currency. Operating income was 24.3 billion, increased 18%, 21% in constant currency of course net income was 20.1 billion and increased 20 percent up 23 percent in constant currency and diluted earnings per share was two dollars and 69 cents an increase 21 percent or 23 percent in constant currency now i know what you're thinking what the heck is constant currency well you see when you have a business that does business dealings all over the country all over the world uh, currency fluctuations sometimes mask the true earnings, the true uh, losses of a company. So they use a thing called constant currency in order to keep everything fixed. It's a fixed exchange rate between the monies. Uh, and this allows for a clearer picture as to what is going on with the company's values. And with that out of the way, we're going to take a look at one slide in particular and see what Xbox has been up to. As you can see here, this is the Fourth slide, the more personal computing highlights in the gaming section. That's what we want to know about. Gaming revenue grew 1%, up 2% in constant currency. Xbox content and service revenue grew 5%, up 6% in constant currency. It says it's driven by growth in third-party content and Xbox and Game Pass. Now, strangely enough, despite Game Pass and these third-party content helping Xbox service revenue grow uh, the Xbox hardware revenue declined, declined 13%. Uh, they don't say how much in constant currency, but just taking a quick glance over all the charts, it looks to be about a 1% to 2% difference. So I'm guessing it's about 11% in constant currency. I find this a very, very interesting. With all the acquisitions that uh, Microsoft has done in the gaming space, with the upcoming uh, acquisition of Activision Blizzard. You know, everybody knew that was coming through. Everybody knew uh, that that was not going to get blocked. Uh, I don't think anybody with any semblance of intelligence thought that Microsoft was going to get denied the ability to buy Activision Blizzard. So with that on the horizon, you would think, you would think that hardware sales would start to increase. You would think that the gaming public would be excited for all the possibilities of the Xbox Game Pass, of all the exclusives that are coming to Xbox. And yet, that's not what happened, right? Hardware declined 13%. Less people are buying Xbox than they were previously. Uh, this is weird. I find this strange. We know that both Sony and Nintendo have had uh, steady sales. I believe they both had hardware uh, sales increases over the last fiscal quarter. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. I could be wrong, uh, but I do believe that. I, I think I remember hearing that. Hmm. So is this due to uh, Phil Spencer, you know, basically saying, hey, we lost console race. We lost console war this generation. And he basically threw in the towel. Uh, is that had an effect? Is this uh, partly the Redfall effect? Uh, people seeing the exclusives stumbling out of the gate, not uh, doing as well as they should have. Uh, maybe people are getting a little weary of the Xbox brand. It will be interesting to see how they do in the next fiscal quarter if the Xbox hardware revenue goes back up, how much it goes back up. If it goes down even further, well, man, uh, then that'll just be a confirmation that gamers are rejecting the Xbox model. Gamers are rejecting the Microsoft acquisitions, they're rejecting the whole uh, Game Pass thing. 
you know gamers don't want this right so that that's what i'm predicting if it goes down it's going to show that gamers don't actually want what xbox what microsoft is serving up you know there's a lot of talk about sony not being able to afford their first party exclusives that they're not making any money on they're losing a lot of money on games games like the last of us last of us part two right they're losing all kind of money making these games and they're not getting back the sales to justify this however smart people smart people know that these games are just the enticement right you put these on you get all the accolades you get people talking about your console this entices people to look into your console to buy your console maybe they buy the game maybe they don't maybe they buy other games right that is just the sizzle uh, the stake is all the other properties on the console now you might be calling me a sony pony i'm just a fanboy of the ps5 uh, but it looks like people are not not that many xbox coming out strong right so we'll see like i said hardware is down though 13 percent. let me know what you think about it in the comments is this a bad sign am i reading the tea leaves wrong uh, is microsoft gonna bounce back is xbox going to dominate going forward now that the blizzard activision deal is set to go through uh, let me know your thoughts but as always love peace booty grease i'm out this bitch.